What is going on guys, Chu here, bringing you a, another review on Baruto. In this episode, we actually get to see how things are very difficult, I guess you can say, with the quote-unquote reformed prisoners that are part of this mission, and at the same time, how things are not going so hot for the groups with this whole Funato group. Honestly, it's getting kind of out of hand, but let's get to it. So we start off with them on this rickety boat, as Boruto calls it. And we see that the group is actually very, um, I, can't, I guess you could say at each other's throats, having to deal with these other characters, you know, Boonton and the others. Uh, just, you know, very, um, I guess you could say, strainful, uh, difficult relationship. Uh, they start to get a little rowdy on the boat. Uh, this obviously doesn't last very long. I love how Mitsuki just kind of jumps in and tries to calm things down. And you know, Kagura just, just like, you know, I'm sorry that this isn't what you guys wanted, but in reality, you know, they won't do anything because they actually have the marking on the back of their necks that basically limits their movements and anything that they they do was going to be under my supervision so whatever they want to do it would be behind his back um and it, it's it's just kind of a difficult relationship but we actually see how the old geezer actually tries to buy them time as well as they start approaching some of the pirates ships and they have no other choice but to kind of be in like I guess you could say in the back or I mean in the bottom trying to hide from it it nearly works but Kawaki ruins it with his motion sickness this becomes a problem and they get found out and so they have, of course no other choice than to take these pirates down but as they get closer we see also the kind of a backstory of this pirate group that luckily we see the mizukagi take care of you know that we see that uprising that they were having and it was taken down five years ago uh, they do arrive at the island and we have them uh borrowed to wanting to join but this becomes more of a stealth mission that mitsuki and sarada both take it makes the most sense for those two to go while the others stay behind uh as reinforcements and at the same time to watch and see what happens to the prisoners and so we have sarada and mitsuki getting on the island they encounter these guys who at this point have really already taken control of a lot of people they started taking the, the people prisoners they come across this one guy who actually has one of the robots that was from the leaf um, they do try to retrieve it it's a slippery little one uh, and luckily, uh, the robot does end up leading them to where Danky was. And it was nice to see Danky kind of still being a leader and still trying to figure out what would be the best move that would benefit them in that situation. Ibabe was getting very uncomfortable. He was actually wanting to fight. He wanted to get out of the cave. And then it had passed some time, so it, was, it would have been great to actually do something. But Denki actually was able to, you know, kind of keep calm and collect, which is something I appreciate. You know, I'm seeing, you know, that there might be a possibility, so let's hold off on it. And it paid off in the end. It really did. I actually like that it worked out that way. And so, thankfully, we have this robot kind of leading uh, his way back to Denki, which causes the reunion between... Dengi's group and Sarada and Mimitsuki, both of them meeting up again and you know actually being happy to see each other which was awesome I really liked that so we then have these five getting together again but we have the on the boat we kind of have this moment here where Kaguda is talking to Boruto and saying that you know you basically inspired me to change you know I was going down a dark path myself and I kind of want to do that as well. I want to be able to, you know, change these guys, save their lives, just kind of like how you did to me. And as they're having this nice touching moment and, you know, Boontan and her group members were asleep, we actually have that being ruined by a giant ship. At first, they think it's a monster, but as we see the silhouette coming out of the fog, 
we realize that this is the main ship so let's see how they handle dealing with these guys or if they can hide from them but overall not a bad episode let me know what you guys think i'd love to know your thoughts and as always though stay safe to care yourselves and others and i'll catch you later